The following presentation is made possible by the generosity of the viewers of Sunday Mass at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls in Chicago. Good morning and welcome to Sunday Mass at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. Today we celebrate the 31st Sunday of Ordinary Time. My name is Dan Riley, I am joined by Patrick Holland, and our celebrant is Father James Wallace. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Alleluia, Alleluia. Oh, burning sun with golden beam, and all silver moon with softer gleam. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, friends. Thank you for joining us for Mass on this 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time here at Mercy Home. We are blessed by your presence and your prayers. So let's take a moment to acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, to my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have I greatly sinned, sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words, words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Before the Lord, the whole universe is as a grain from a balance, or a drop of morning dew come down upon the earth. But you have mercy on all, because you can do all things, and you overlook people's sins that they may repent. For you love all things that are, and load nothing that you have made. For what you hated, you would not have fashioned. And how could a thing remain unless you willed it, or be preserved had it not been called forth by you? But you spare all things because they are yours, O Lord and lover of souls. For you are imperishable spirit, is in all things. Therefore, you rebuke offenders little by little. Warn them and remind them of the sins they are committing, that they may abandon their wickedness and believe in you, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King. I will extol you, O oh my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. 
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith, that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him, in accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your minds suddenly or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement or by a letter allegedly from us, to the effect that the Lord is at hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you O lord at that time jesus came to jericho and intended to pass through the town now a man there named zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man was seeking to see who jesus was but he could not see him because of the crowd for he was short in stature So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, Half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I know tomorrow is Halloween, and Father Scott asked me to put in a recommendation or request all the trick-or-treaters at Mercy Home uh, for Butterfingers. That's his favorite candy. Uh, Just kidding. That's my favorite candy. And by the way, congratulations to Father Scott, who is the uh, recipient of the Rerum Navarum Award way back in May. Uh, Well-deserved to our our, uh, fine leader here at Mercy Home. So Zacchaeus is is a beautiful scene with our Lord, a beautiful situation. The first thing I'd, I'd like to point your attention to is Jesus was intending to pass through or pass around Jericho. Jericho is Zacchaeus' hometown, and we might be familiar with Jericho. That was the city where the walls came tumbling down back in the Old Testament when Joshua marched around it with his army, and they blared the trumpets. So Jesus really has no interest in, in Jericho. Um, it's not that significant, just a town. It's, it's rose, it's fallen, whatever. But he cares about Zacchaeus. So this is an important principle. Yes, our Lord cares about towns and nations and and the macro things, but but really, truly, what Jesus cares about is is us individually, our souls. He sees a lost soul, Zacchaeus, in this town. And so for whatever reason why Jesus didn't want to go to Jericho, it'd be like me wanting to bypass, you know, like Green Bay if I was driving by because I'm a big Bears fan, right? So, but he goes there because he needs to encounter Zacchaeus He needs to heal him. He needs to set him free and and set him on a new course. So Jesus also now has, and I point you to the attention of Jesus' heart and his mind, how Jesus is feeling and what is he experiencing when he encounters Zacchaeus. It's joy. Joy usually reflects upon the people whom we encounter. When we're joyful, they tend to be joyful as well. 
And so we hear specifically when Zacchaeus comes down, he receives the Lord with great joy. Why was Zacchaeus joyful? Because Jesus was joyful. If Jesus was angry and he was about to, to hammer him and, and throw down the, the law and, and accuse Zacchaeus of all these sins, Zacchaeus would have been you know, ashamed or afraid or frightened, whatever. But he's joyful because our Lord is joyful. Our Lord, when he comes to us who are lost, to get us, to break us out of our, our sinful way of thinking or our sinful patterns of behavior, Jesus has, has delight. He wants to, to bring us like the good shepherd around his shoulders and, and set us uh, into freedom, a path of, of living well. And so he does this with Zacchaeus and he goes and he has dinner with him. Also, we only have dinner with the people we like, more or less, and we, we have joy with when we dine. So Jesus obviously is joyful to have dinner with Zacchaeus. Now, the last thing, too, is Zacchaeus' conversion. There's, there's basically, like, you could, you could see a conversion happening in three ways. Miraculous, think of, like, St. Paul being struck blind off, you know, when he's walking to Damascus. Something gradual, we're unhappy, we see the Lord, and this is the kind of the push over the edge we needed. That's like St. Matthew. But then there's the conversion that comes about through the intercession of others, people praying for that person who's lost. So you might have a lost family member. Now, instead of being angry at them or, or just you know, writing them off, if you pray for them, you could be the cause of their conversion. So Zacchaeus was lost, and I bet he converted, not necessarily miraculously or gradually, but by someone in Jericho who saw this troubled, young, or small, short man and prayed for him. That's the power, friends, of intercession. So let's find someone who's lost in our lives and let's pray for them, and then let's also allow the Lord to find us who are lost and set us free. Amen. We profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven heaven and and earth, earth, of all all things things visible visible and invisible. invisible. I I believe in one Lord, Lord, Jesus Christ, Christ, the only begotten begotten Son of God, God, born of the the Father Father before all ages, ages, God from God, God, light from light, light, true God from true God. Be God, God, not made, made. consubstantial with the Father. Through him, him all things are made. made. For, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and, and became man. For our for sake, sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose, rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into, into heaven and is seated at the right, right hand of the Father. Father. He will come come again again in glory glory to judge the living and the dead, and his his kingdom kingdom will have no end. end. I believe in the Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Lord, Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We pray now for all the needs of our church and of our world. Our response to each prayer will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, our Archbishop, and all those who do the Lord's work, may Christ's good news fill all hearts with peace and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer from depression and loneliness, may the presence of the Lord give them hope and solace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For the children of Mercy Home, as they continue to work on rebuilding their lives, may they continue to find strength in the Lord's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those who are mourning the loss of a loved one, may they find comfort and peace knowing their loved ones have been called home to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Almighty and gracious God, we love you. We thank you for for coming to us, finding us, and healing us. And we ask now that you answer these prayers, which we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the de dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Friends, let's join our voices and pray together the words that Christ our Savior gave us. Our Father, our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. To the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Friends, thank you again for joining us for Mass here. Uh, God's peace and blessing upon you on behalf of Father Scott and Cardinal Supich and all the staff here at Mercy Home. Thank you for your, your support. It makes a tremendous difference so Mercy Home can continue its excellent mission of helping so many young boys and girls uh, to thrive in our, in our city here. So God bless you and peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not I'm worthy, not worthy that, you that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof. roof. But only, only say, say the word, word and, my and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. For those of you at home, please turn to page six in your CV Mass Guide and join in singing our communion song, We Remember. We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come. In your glory, Lord, we remember, we celebrate, we believe. Here a million wounded souls are yearning just to touch you and be healed. Gather all your people and hold them to your heart. We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate, for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord. Celebrate, we believe. Now we recreate your love. We bring the bread and wine to share a meal. Peace beyond all telling and freedom from all fear. We remember how you loved us to your death and still we celebrate for you are with us here and we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory Lord we remember we celebrate Friends, join me with our prayer for the children of Mercy Home. Our Lady of Mercy, Lady of Mercy we, pray we pray that you will guide, protect, and bless all boys and girls who this day have a home called Mercy. 
May they they find the the Father's Father's mercy as we offer them our hearts in the name of your your Son, Son, Jesus Christ. May they they see God's mercy in action through our love, prayers, and sacrifices. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And again, thank you for joining us. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. May he nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. May he turn your steps toward himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you all and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Come unto me and rest. Lay down, O weary one, lay down your head upon my breast. I came to Jesus as I was so weary, worn, and sad. I found in him a resting place, and he has made me glad. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Behold, I freely give the living water. Thirsty one, stoop down and drink and live. I came to Jesus, and I drank of that life-giving stream. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, and now I live in Him. I heard the voice of Jesus say, I am this dark world's light. Look unto me, your morn Folks. In my ministry, this is one of my favorite things to do, is to gather with you and to pray with you on Sunday mornings. It's a great opportunity to bring the prayer of the church to those who can't get to their home parishes because of illness. Thank you for your prayers and thank you for your support. Not only do you support the TV Mass, but you support also over 600 young people who are entrusted to our daily care here at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. We need your prayers, we need your support. Thank you, and may God bless you. The music for the broadcast of Sunday Mass at Mercy Home is generously provided by GIA Publications Incorporated and its World Library Publications Division.